Oh my god! Oh, you got a good one. <laughs> There's your black. <laughs> get him, get him before he gets to the rocks. There you go. It's a race against the sharks and, and the rocks here. You guys see what happened, right? I catch all these little fish, and then she comes in behind me and makes me look bad. I think I'm back <laughs> on the board. What do you think? I think so. <laughs> All right, day number two out here at Old Bahama Bay. Still wahoo trolling. You're gonna see a lot of those coming over the next couple days. And uh, I don't know if this is a wahoo or not. It might be a barracuda. But at least we got that drag moving early in the morning. I got that first hit of the morning and at first I thought it was a cuda, but it wasn't. Yeah, it's coming in a little quicker here. Getting them real close. It ended up being a pretty nice wahoo. Here we go. This a little guy. Thought it might have been a barracuda, but it's a wahoo. All right, well, welcome back to day number two out here wahoo fishing. And uh, got us a little guy. But you know what? They taste just as good. Look at the colors on them, man. Little zebra stripes. Pretty fish. Wow, look at these teeth here. Look how sharp those things are. That's why I use that hard wire right there. Razor sharp, very tightly knit together teeth. Lose a finger easy on those guys. All right, we'll get that lure back out there and try it again. After that first wahoo, it took us about another half hour before we got our second hit. Oh man, this one feels like a good one, Cap. Got Captain Rudy up there behind the wheel, man. He has been putting us on these fish. You're seeing Nick back here clearing all these lines and keeping the lures moving. They're making sure we stay hooked up out here, man. And they are doing a great job of it. And all you can do when these fish are pulling is you just want to stop reeling and you want to let them do their thing. And then as soon as they slack up, you just, you just keep bringing them in as good as you can. Oh, I see him on the surface. He's right there on the surface. Oh, it's a dolphin. Catching dolphin is a lot of fun, man. I mean, they're, they jump all over the place. They're very aggressive. And of course, they're a beautiful fish. And when they hit the deck of the boat, man, they just start flopping everywhere. Got him. <laughs> he wrapped himself. He's gonna go crazy. Right. And let me show you guys something about what we just caught them on. That's the Wahoo Whacker that we've been slamming them on. And this had a green skirt on it. And we actually took some wa like a wax line and he's still jumping. And we took the wax line and fixed that lure up so that we could keep using it because we don't have enough Wahoo Whackers on board. And it's the only thing these fish want, man. We put all these other lures in the spread and they just keep coming for the Wahoo Whacker. And that, it's not a color you pick up at stores. That's a green lure that lost the green skirt, and now it has a purple skirt from a different lure on it. And again, we're getting dolphin and wahoo and everything on them. Feisty fish. One of my favorites to eat. They hit just about anything that moves. They jump all over the place. They're really pretty and colorful, unless they beat themselves up like this. But uh, really awesome fish, man. Love catching dolphin. Such a fun fish. After catching that next fish, we trolled for hour after hour after hour with nothing at all. Nothing was biting, so we decided to just go ahead and pull the lines in and head in to go catch some lobster. The way we were lobstering is Keith was just pulling us around behind his boat with a rope and I was just looking down for lobsters, seeing if I could see any in the holes or on the rocks below me. And when I would see one, I would just let go of the rope, swim down and grab him. So I seen a lobster walking around in the open, which is not typical for the daytime, but it makes it a lot easier on me, so I swam down and grabbed him. Not bad, huh, Keith? Not bad, bro. Be carefully sharp. And then we got over an area where there was a lot of lobsters, it seemed like, because we came over an area of hard bottom, hard rock, 
and it seemed like there were multiple holes there with a lot of lobsters in them. So I told Keith to just drift around for a little bit and let me swim it and try to see how many I could find. You really got to take your time when you're getting the lobsters out of the holes because you want to look in them and make sure there's not anything in there that could hurt you because there are sea urchins around there and those hurt going through your gloves and of course lionfish which are very bad to run into and they definitely get down in those holes as well. We are allowed to use Hawaiian slings and pole spears and stuff here in the Bahamas to shoot lobster with, which is very convenient, but I don't do it very often unless I need to, just because I'm so used to grabbing them with my hands and pulling them out of the rocks or pulling them out of their holes. Okay, so what we're out here doing is we're setting up to do a little bit of reef fishing with uh, Captain Mark of Old Bahama Bay. And we're in about 70 feet of water and we want our chum on the bottom because we're fishing for snapper and grouper, uh, not for the stuff that's gonna be on the surface. So we're dropping some eight ounce stinkers in the chum bag. And we're gonna let this thing hover about 20 feet off the bottom. That'll sink down nicely. And it's gonna be drifting far enough behind our boat here to where it really won't get in our way if we're reeling something up, hopefully. Yeah, you see it's gonna be a little ways back there. Oh, got him. Mm, fish oh, yeah. on. Got him on the bottom. That might be a snapper. Nice. <laughs> Woo, sweating. Second pop and he got it. All right, well I'm out here jigging with a three and a half ounce Palomar jig. And the setup that I'm using is an Ocean Max 9 by Maxell and one of the Maxell jigging rods. And I got a big strawberry grouper. Look at this one. <laughs> That's a nice strawberry right there. And he hit the Palomar jig. We got the wire on it. As you can see, we put some of that AFW wire on there because there's Wahoo here. Louisa was jigging with this one a little bit ago and she got hit. You can see how it's all cut up and scarred up and uh, happened to miss that one. But look at this here, man. Nice fish on the jig. <laughs> Oh yeah, we'll bring that home for dinner. We've let a few go. Put him in the live ball. All right, we'll do that. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a very good fish. Oh, I hope this is just took old. Oh, Louisa just missed a Wahoo on this same jig. So I'm really hoping this thing stays together here because that fish hit it right. I think it's a mutton. Looks like a good mutton right there below the boat. Oh, it's a jack. That's a blackjack. He slammed it though. Those are actually really good to eat if you eat jacks. Look at this guy here. I'm gonna set him on the deck. So he's got a sharp tail and I wanna put my gloves on to hold him to show you guys a little bit about this fish and what to watch out for. I'm putting my gloves on because they do have a really sharp tail and I don't wanna get myself cut. It's like any other hard tail would, but this is a razor sharp tail on these blackjacks. Check this thing out running down him here. It's a ridge of bones when you get to the end. Be careful with me slinging that Palomar jig around. And that's what you hit again. That uh, mackerel colored flat side jig. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but that is super sharp once you get to the end. You come from the back forward, you'll slice your hand on it. You can go backwards with it, but I wouldn't even recommend doing that. But if you're gonna grab a blackjack, grab him by his tail with a pair of gloves on. They also have the same thing a lot of other jacks have. See these two sharp spines right here? Those will get you too. A lot of people don't know those will pop out and get you. Just like Kobe has them on their back, they have them on the underside. Pretty cool looking fish. They're real strong. It's another one I think I'm gonna release because we got so many Wahoo from yesterday. Nice fish. You got it. That's what is happening on guys. We've tried the other uh, frozen bait and it's just not doing the trick. That jig is doing it. There's another look at that blackjack. We're gonna go ahead and release them. And they do taste good, and a lot of people would be pretty upset if I was releasing it. But again, we got plenty of wahoo, so he's gonna go back and look at that. Look how quick he's taking off. He didn't even let me revive him. Those fish are tough, aren't they? 
<laughs> Louisa dropped her jig right behind me and she got slammed as well. Oh my god! Oh, you got a good one. <laughs> There's your blast. <laughs> get him, get him before he gets to the rocks. There you go. It's a race against the sharks and, and the rocks here. You guys see what happens, right? I catch all these little fish, <laughs> and then she comes in behind me and makes me look bad. I think I'm back <laughs> on the board. What do you think? I think so. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it oh. looks big. What it looks is big. It? Oh my god. Look at that. A big oh. old blackjack. My god. <laughs> it ended up being a huge blackjack. One of the biggest blackjacks I've ever seen. I said, what color wow. chick do you want? She said purple. Purple. <laughs> Look at this thing! Wow! Holy smokes! Holy crap! Weren't expecting that, were you? No! <laughs> Let me show you his teeth as well. I'm trying to pull this back for you. Look at this. Look at those guys. Gosh, Louisa! That's incredible. Woo, that's hey, double well. the size of the one I just caught. I might it's be in first monster. place. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> and after that, Louisa hooked another strawberry grouper. Yeah. Oh, fish on! Big one! Good job, Louisa. Woo. It's coming up easier now. We're whooping them. On a piece of thread, Finn. <laughs> it's always nice seeing a bunch of strawberry grouper come to the boat. A strawberry grouper. We got a few of these today. And uh, right after Louisa landed that one, she just took the hook out and released it. Wow, look at this. Such a pretty fish. The weather was great this particular day. It was flat calm. It was like a sheet of glass out. There was almost no wind. The weather was warm. Everything was perfect. All right, guys.